Marty went up to his tiny apartment, unlocked the door, and dropped his briefcase on the sofa. He pulled his handkerchief from his pocket and looked at the mascara stains from the 90 minutes he spent consoling a tearful writer whose biography of Drogo of Seaborg, the patron saint of unattractive people, had been rejected for the third time. It'll take a miracle just to get this clean again, he thought. Perhaps I should ask old Drogo for some saintly intercession. I'm R.J. Post, and that's a passage from The Safe List, the first story in my book, Lion Taming, Dating, and Other Dangerous Endeavors. So what's up with this guy Drogo of Seaborg, a patron saint of unattractive people? Surely he's the product of some writer's fertile imagination, right? Well, if you thought I invented Drogo after having a few too many cups of coffee and getting a bit giddy, you'd be wrong. Drogo of Seaborg is a real saint, and his feast day is Friday, April 16th. Drogo was a 12th century Flemish saint. That means he was born in the Flanders region of northern Belgium. He was born into a noble family, but he blamed himself because his mother died in childbirth. So when he was 18, he denounced all his property and hit the road. When he wasn't off on religious pilgrimages, Drogo worked as a shepherd in Seaborg, France. Where legend has it, this pious man exhibited the ability to bi-locate, or physically be in two places at the same time. He was witnessed to be out in the field tending his flock at the same time he was in church tending mass. Drogo was the original multitasker. Maybe that's how he got to be the patron saint of coffee. If you thought St. Arbuck was the patron saint of coffee, you were wrong. You were wrong. That's St. Drogo shtick. Okay, coffee. We all get that. Who wouldn't want a hot cup of java when they're out tending sheep on a cold morning? But what's all this about unattractive people? On one of his pilgrimages, Drogo developed a debilitating illness. In fact, it left him so deformed that his appearance frightened other people. So Drogo said goodbye to his sheep, goodbye Drogo, and became an anchorite. An anchorite was a type of religious during the Middle Ages. Rather than taking a monastic vow like a monk or a nun, they took a vow to pray for the community and then were enclosed in a cell attached to the church. The only view of the outside world was a window facing the altar of the church and a small window to receive food and water from the outside. For 40 years, he lived in a cell attached to the village church, surviving only on barley, the Holy Eucharist, and, it was said, his only drink was warm water. So maybe he threw some roasted barley in now and then, giving him that coffee saint credential. After Drogo's death, many miraculous healings were attributed to his intercession. In addition to unattractive people, coffee, and of course shepherds, Drogo is the patron saint of orphans, the deaf, hernias, gallstones, and a whole host of other things. So the next time you slip on some wool socks, lift a cup of coffee to your lips, or just don't feel so attractive, just call on your old friend Drogo. He's got your back. If you like this video, be sure to like, follow, and share the RJ Post Author Facebook page. Just a reminder, my book, that's it there, Lion Taming, Dating, and Other Dangerous Endeavors, is available in paperback and ebook on Amazon, or if you prefer a bricks and mortar bookstore, you'll find it at Susan's Books and Gifts in Aurora, Chapters Books and Gifts in Seward, Francie and Finch Bookshop in Lincoln, and The Bookworm in Omaha. This is RJ Post. Thanks for listening, and keep reading.